Hey you Piscatorians, welcome back to the channel. It's a cold day here in January and we're at Jean Poulon Park and we're gonna fish Lake Washington. I got my wife with me today. She's actually never caught yellow perch. So that's what we're gonna shoot out to go do. If you're new to the channel, my name is Jerry. I'm the Piscatorian and I'd uh, love for you to consider subscribing to the channel. With that said, let's get out to the boat and we'll go do some fishing. Boy, it is foggy. Got a cool fishing pier. I think a lot of guys fish off there and get some yellow perch, bass. Who knows, maybe even some trout, but it looks like there's about four or five people out there right now working the water. guys it's time to uh motor around a little bit see if we can't see some uh marks on the yellow perch last time i was out here which was like a year ago we didn't see a whole lot but uh we did catch them in this area so uh we'll see if we can find them first and if not we're still gonna try fishing here because they were here last time so we'll see if they're here again all right guys first order of business get the little buddy propane heater on because it's darn cold out here and you know I didn't wear gloves. My wife did, she's smarter than I am. But uh, I got the propane heater, so, you know, that's gonna help out. So we're gonna fire this bad boy up. Oh, it's already working. That's excellent. Yep. All right, guys, so we're using a, a light tackle setup. We got a three quarter ounce uh, cannonball sinker on the bottom, and then using a two hook rig. And we're going to start with night crawlers. They're on uh, size four uh, mosquito hooks. But we got a, a tandem setup, giving them a big offering on top, smaller offering on the bottom. And we're just going to drop that to the bottom and kind of give a little shake and wait for them to hit. Uh, and then later, um, after we catch a couple of perch, uh, some of the subscribers out there, fellow Piscatorians, they're saying to use perch meat, and it's a really good bait. So tried it once before, didn't have that great of luck. Um, but I've heard from multiple people, they slay them with the uh, perch meat. So if we catch a, a few perch, uh, once we get one in the boat, we'll, we'll set a rod up with uh, some perch meat and give it a go, test it out, see if we can have some better, uh, better odds. So with that said, we'll get to fishing. How'd that go? Fisher, fisher. <laughs> Perfect. Not the biggest one, but we can get a little. Go away, seagull. Perch McNugget out of that. Oh, Carly's first perch. You want to kiss it for good luck? No. No? No kissing it for uh -oh. good luck? Okay. <laughs> Alright, guys, so I did a little perch meat fillet. We're going to put this uh, on the hook. I don't know if you're supposed to do it skin on or skin off so if you guys have experience with this let me know but I'm gonna try skin off so we'll see how it goes
And you're keeping your one. You're doing good, man. That's a good one. Sorry, dude. Just catching all the bigger ones, too. <laughs> Hopefully, we can find even bigger, but yeah, she's smoking me on these. down buddy oh I don't know if you guys can see in the mouth but there is the perch meat a little close-up oh, perfect so I don't know if you guys can see that I'm gonna push in a little closer but we're just hitting marks just like that uh, for these perch we're not finding them in big schools today but when we get down there they're biting Nuggets. Fatty, a little fat, uh, I don't know, about seven, eight incher. Hopefully, we'll find some bigger ones than that, but that'll make a nice little fillet. Yeah, the perch is starting to outfish the worms. <clears throat> Gravid female right there. See she's popping out some eggs. But these perch, they're uh, prolific spawners and uh, they survive really well so that's why there's no limit on them because uh, it doesn't really make a big impact. But you know, take what you're gonna eat. We're gonna uh, vacuum seal a, a few fillet packs for some future meals and maybe have some tonight for dinner as well. Maybe I'll do a YouTube short or quick little cooking video on them. All right. Carly, how's it going? You got him? I think so. Yep. 
Fish Come here, little fishy. That's it. You have to get in the boat now. Oh. Sorry to ruin your day. You're gonna become dinner. Ooh, this one feels like some weight here. Oh yeah. Oh honey, this is probably the best one of the day. It's heavy. Oh, it's a double. Honey, we got a double. Look at that. Oh, nice. Perch meat. trying to hit me with that fish? That's the first double of the day right there. Okay. I think I'm becoming a fan of the perch meat. And I think they like it with the skin off. And it's pretty tough. I mean, I've been using the same two pieces for a while now. And that hook is in there. And the perch kind of... There it goes. It's one. The other one we're gonna need the fire spot. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Little fishy. It is a little fishy. We can make a nugget out of them though. There it is. Oh, it feels like a, a five incher, maybe six. We'll see. Guess the size of the perch. What do you think it's gonna be? Five, six, seven. Well, what did I say? Five inches? Let's find out. Got the measure. All these things have spines and lots of prickly stuff. Oh man, it's an eight incher. It's an eight incher. I was wrong, guys. Eight inches, nose to tail. But it's a fish. It's a fish. I'd be like, oh, I'm taking one. I'd be like, it. So these white tackle, you know, also like cow rods. That guy, definitely a small. That is a big contender right there. So, I don't know if you guys see right behind me is the VMAC training facility, and uh, but we're closer to the Mercer Island side, almost in the middle. And uh, as you can see, we're at 83 feet of water. And uh, on the map right here, uh, we're just going to the top and drifting kind of right back. And there's a few humps and a few marks, and you know we're getting one or two each time. Uh, but it's really faint marks right off the bottom. So, I don't know if you can see that, but that little line off those uh, rocks, those are perch. Charlie's got one. There it is. Good job, babe. Nice fish. What 
what I'm doing since I don't have anchor lock and the yard trick. I'll start dropping it down and then I'm going to put it in reverse here, back up just a little bit, try to get more of a vertical presentation and kind of feel the bite better that way. the rib cage bones on that piece of the perch. Huh? I don't know. Are you sure? He got off? No, you no, got him. There. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Swing him in. Yeah, that's a nice one. About an eight incher. Good job, honey. We'll see. That's the biggest one of the day right there. Holy moly. Look at that one. Really nice. Wow. That is a perch donkey right there. Holy moly. Well, guys battery died right there but that last perch was 11 inches best one of the day by far so maybe we can get uh, some more like that but it's pretty cold out here so we're probably gonna get five or six and then uh, maybe look at wrapping it up but we'll show you the live well so you can see the haul for the day but a lot of fun out here even though it's chilly All right guys, well it is getting cold out here, really cold. My wife is ready to go, I'm ready to go. And we got plenty of uh, yellow perch today for the uh, next few meals. Um, so yeah, let me show you what we got in the live well. I think we got about 23. And 
there we go so not bad biggest one is 11 inches um, but they were all pretty good you know decent quality nice size perch so with that said hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did please be sure to uh, smash that like button also again if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button for me appreciate you guys watching and as always tight lines